Well, they're out here talking about replacing Biden with Kamala Harris. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think that's about the stupidest idea Democrats could have right now. I'm telling you this as somebody who voted for Hillary in 2016 and who thinks that we should have a black female president in 2028 or when Biden kicks the bucket, whenever that may be. You want to put her up against Trump, Donald fucking Trump, right now during this time. If America wasn't ready for a white female president in 2016, they're definitely not ready for a black female president now. You guys don't remember a couple years ago with Ketanji Brown Jackson? You ever heard of a little thing called massage noir? It's like misogyny on steroids, but for black women to keep them oppressed. Even voters on the left will take that opportunity to practice their internalized racism by saying, well, she's not really that qualified. I don't need to study political science to know these things. I grew up with these people. I grew up with conservative racist Republicans. And I'm telling you right now, for the Democratic party to replace Biden with her at this time, in this moment, is complete sabotage for our party. You can't replace the presidential candidate five months out, you guys. You can't do it. This is, you guys are part of the problem. Third party voters are a part of the problem and people who don't vote are a part of the problem. You have to participate and you have to vote for the party. Whoever is in that party at that time doesn't matter. You are voting on issues that you care about. You're not voting for the person. You're not voting for Biden. You are voting not for Project 2025, okay? If you try to replace the Democratic candidate five months out, you're going to end up with Project 2025.